defense. Left to right, trailing by three. He throws, far side, picked off! Brody Hoyt's got it, far side, 35-40, outside the numbers, 50, 45-40, 35-30, Brody Hoyt to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, dragged out at the five-yard line! Brody Hoyt, the redshirt sophomore from Coldwater, Ohio, does it for the second time in his many weeks. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Boland's got to throw fourth. They rush only three. Boland escapes, runs over the pike. Down he goes! They got him! They got him! They're going to continue to run the clock. That's going to be it. Eastern's going to beat the Big Ten for the first time ever. And Eastern beats a Power 5 school for the first time. This play has to go out of bounds. Has to go out of bounds right here. Bolin can't take a sack. Pressure's coming. Down he goes. They mark him down. They'll keep the clock running. And Eastern Michigan's going to win. Luke McLean got the sack. And the Eagles come to Piscataway and knock off their first Big Ten team ever. Now they're gonna have to review this to make sure that Boland's knee was down and he didn't get the ball away. The only on the field is that the quarterback was down before he threw the ball. But if his knee was down, Eastern Michigan has knocked off Rutgers. Just a three-man rush by Eastern Michigan, eight in coverage. Let's see if his knee goes down. The previous play is under review. It looked like his knee was down. Yeah, and that was Jeremiah Harris, their leader, their best pass rusher who never gave up on the play. Did that right knee go down right before the pass? Here's another angle of it. He doesn't see the rusher at all. He's going to he try to get it out. On the field is confirmed. That's the end of the game. His knee is down. And the ball is not out. Wow. Eastern Michigan out of the MAC comes to Rutgers and hands the Scarlet Knights their 11th consecutive loss. And the Eagles and coach Chris Creighton in a full turnaround after their first winning season last year since 1995. They're 2-0 for just the second time since 1990. And as we take a look at our Eat Street fastest delivery of the game, and it was that 71-yard interception by Brody Hoing. Yeah, just a crushing blow to Rutgers. Great go. anticipation by Hoing on a long throw to the boundary. And here it is again. He just read it perfectly. Good hands. And just turned it all around for Eastern Michigan. A the crushing blow for Rutgers. And first Big Ten win ever. Hats off to Chris Creighton in Eastern Michigan. Brogan Roback with an impressive performance. They didn't put up a ton of points, but that Eastern Michigan defense gave Rutgers all kinds of fits. And they'll head back to Ypsilanti with a win over Rutgers. Once again, our final score, Eastern Michigan 16 and the Scarlet Knights 13. Coming up next, it's the State Farm Post Game Show with Rick Pizzo, Jerry DiNardo, and Howard Griffith. So for Chuck Long and our entire crew, I'm Jason Horwitz. This has been a presentation of the Big Ten Network. Take care, folks.